Here's the Dice Team tail of the tape. Wilson is 28 and Estrada 30. Wilson is an inch taller and both fighters weighed in at 138. The inch and a half reach advantage goes the way of Wilson. Here's the silky smooth Mike Kendall. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the LFA 106 feature fight on UFC Fight Pass tonight. It is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in an LFA catchweight at 140 pounds. Brought to you tonight by the DICE team, supporting the athletes who continue to take on life's challenges. And now, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This kickboxer wrestler stands 5'7", weighed in 138.2 pounds. He holds a professional record, 10 wins, 6 defeats, with 3 wins coming by way of knockout. Representing Saxon's Muay Thai, Fight Ready, and Siege MMA, fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona, Kyle the Hoosier Estrada! His opponent across the octagon, fighting out of the red corner, is a grappler standing 5'8", weighed in 138.6 pounds. He holds a professional record, six wins, three defeats, with two wins coming by way of knockout, three by way of submission. Representing TriStar and fighting out of Montreal, Canada, Ty Wilson. The referee in charge of the action, Marcio La Selva. Guys, went over the rules already today. Expect a clean fight. Obey my commands all the time. Protect yourself all the time. You want to shake hands one more time? On my command, come back swinging. Really a tale of two uh, fighters and personalities. Ty Wilson just so chilled, like you said, Joseph, making his LFA debut against the veteran Kyle Estrada, who looks like he is at a really good place mentally. And we are set for three five-minute rounds. The feature fight here at LFA number 106, Ron Crook. And Joseph Benavides with you, and it's Estrada that attacks that first, that lead leg. Get things rolling. And if you watched any of Estrada's fights, you probably could have guessed what that first strike would be. He's excellent with the kicks, his calf kicks from this um, orthodox position, and also does a great job of switching to southpaw and throwing left different kicks as well. Yeah, it's all striking with Estrada. He said he, might, he may finally use some of his wrestling in this fight. He yeah, feels, of course, the, the, stri the striking is his advantage. Yeah, he was talking about it and with the move to Arizona saying, I need to remember I'm a wrestler. I need to remember this is MMA. And says all he practices there with um, his coach Santino DeFranco is MMA is a full sport, blending it together, and that's what he hopes to show. So actually said, I hope Ty shoots on me because I see myself reversing that shot. Ty Wilson said he feels he has the advantage in the grappling department. His plan is to make him work and wear him down. He'd like to drag this fight into the later rounds. Yeah, and this is a smart place here for Ty to be on the feet. I think you saw a speed advantage from Estrada instantly. So the best place for a grappler to be is right here. Um, you know, the fans might not love it, might not think he's, it's exciting, but this is the best place 100% for um, Ty Wilson to be against the faster, more dynamic um, Estrada um, out in the open. And you see Kyle Estrada looking at our referee, Marcia Silva, like, hey, it's not much happening here. Yeah, you know, I don't like that from Estrada. It's his... When he's in, when, when the bottom guy is being controlled, it's his job to get out of there. I don't like, you know, I don't believe in stand-ups or being against the cage. It's, uh, you know, it's um, it's the person defending. It's his job to to get out of that position and make it better. Back with the calf kicks, two quick ones in a row, and I think he might have ended a fight with calf kicks already. And. I, Looks to be going that way because these are very hard and Wilson's not reacting to them at all. No, Wilson doesn't really react to much. <laughs> he doesn't. We asked him a ton of questions yesterday. We got one word, you know, kind of head shrug. So, just, you know. uh, yeah, just a cool cat, though, for sure. Ty Wilson fighting out of Montreal, 28 years old. Hasn't fought since November of 2019. Yeah, but been training, putting in the work with these guys at TriStar and all the studs that come through there. Um, it's a hobby. Arnold Allen, he said he got some work in with. So, you know, he's definitely con confident with his skills. Yeah, and another um, calf kick those guys. from Estrada. And, and you're exactly right, Joseph. He's got a win via calf kick over Ricky Farrar. And I love to see Estrada throwing hands here. Because um, watching a lot of his fights, he gets so kick-heavy. 
kick heavy, you know, with the left and right. So it's really great to see him throwing hands because he has great um, ability with his hands. Wilson ate a couple of those shots from Estrada opening up a little bit now. And he's been able to create this distance and get Wilson off of him. Nice elusiveness there and defense when Ty tried to come. him to throw hands right after the kick and you know it's not a thing you see a lot in MMA you like we were talking about earlier you typically end with the kick right but it's great to plant and while the guys oop, that's when you throw the hands that's when you can really take advantage time winding down in the opening frame here between Estrada and Wilson another kick wow Estrada destroying that lead leg it's another yeah. couple shots in as the horn sounds. And I have a feeling these first round highlights are going to be, you know, nothing but calf kicks. Um, he was really tearing them up with those. Uh, must have seen something in that. And when something's working, you know, there, there's no reason to, to change it. Not at all. You know, see him throw some great hands, which is great um, to add into his kick heavy approach and then surprise him with the hands there. And his hands are looking good. He really looks good everywhere and looks to be in total control on the feet. Matthew Jelly there in the corner of Ty Wilson. Unbelievable representing. He's got a semi-pro jersey, Jackie Moon. That's fantastic. <laughs> Left side, Camuela Kirk in the corner of Kyle Estrada, LFA veteran. We are set to go here in the second round of the feature fight at LFA number 106. Estrada in the red trunks blue tape and Ty Wilson, the say maroon shorts in red tape. I think it's a bit of a crimson. Crimson? I like okay. maroon. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I like <laughs> Crimson's it. a fancy that. word for maroon. Yeah, you classy. Shout out to... Shout out to uh, the, Las, the New Mexico State Aggies, that's what they're uh, from Las Cruces, New Mexico. Um, that's my hometown, but they were crimson. Gotcha. Yeah. Crimson Tide, actually. Oh, yeah, and you know, oh, you can tell those calf kicks are hurting. And I see this ending here pretty soon. He switched to southpaw, which is the best thing he can do to avoid that, that hurt calf to protect it. But he needs... But he needs to be able to throw offense from there, too. Some guys, you know, don't practice fighting both stances. So when it comes to this, now he has to, to also be able to throw the hands from Southpaw. It's a big fight. There's no doubt about it for Kyle Estrada. And he switched stances. And he switched stances, and Kyle just says, might as well kick the other calf, work on that one, too. No calf is safe when you're fighting Kyle Estrada. <laughs> And you look at and you just see the calves of Ty Wilson. They are getting red. This fight goes on. Great shot there from our yeah. crew. And look, you'll see eventually he's going to have to at least step into orthodox position to do something. And right when he does, he's going to attack that calf again and possibly end the fight with the next one. If it lands, if it lands on that left one again. So right when he switches to orthodox, look for Estrada to to possibly end the fight. As you see, very gingerly changing to it. You can tell he's not totally comfortable in the southpaw, but he knows if I switch to orthodox, the fight might be over. Sure. Coming up on three minutes to go. And like I said, Estrada just like, well, I might as well work on this calf as well. And you can see Ty Wilson neither. is... is gingerly walking and he's slowing down due to those kicks from Estrada. Yep, and this is the best bet for Wilson there is to grab him and uh, hold on to him, work his grappling there. He had a little success with it earlier. Um, but he really just needs to get a hold of him. On well, his last loss, the round two knockout to Kevin Natividad, Kyle Estrada got a little reckless with those kicks, and he got caught, and Natividad was able to end that fight. 
uh, learn from that and be careful as Ty Wilson looking for a takedown going to the body. Yeah, and you can see how educated Estrada is with his kicks. When Ty switched to southpaw, he also switched to southpaw to throw a hard, you know, back kick with his left. You know, and not just only attacking the inside, which is a harder kick to land. He switched to southpaw, southpaw, so still attack with his power leg to Ty's front leg. Wilson caught Estrada on the break. Oh, good shot from Estrada. And it looks like we got an eye poke. Right away, Kyle Estrada put his hand over his eye. Marcio La Silva. And, you know, timeout. this is actually very tough for Ty, who has a throbbing hematoma on his calf and is really feeling it. Because when you're in the fight, the adrenaline is running. But as you see the eye poke here, and now the fight stops. Oh, yeah. Ty has a little bit of time to fill that leg and for it to sink in. You know, just like it sinks in after a fight, it sinks in here. And, um, you know, the adrenaline kind of wears off, so... You know, not bad of Estrada taking a little time here, letting that pain sink into Ty's leg. Yeah, and there's a great shot from our guerrilla team here as Ty Wilson just looks to be limping. and He has, those legs have taken a beating. Yeah, and he's really feeling that now. Hey, Let's get back on. Keep him at All right, no point deducted. Fighters touch gloves and... We are underway. Second round action between Estrada and Wilson. And he's so worried about the low kick. You come upstairs with it, too. He's it. Yep, he's Attack that lead. Attack that lead. It's there. He's off balance. Go. Hands high. Back to that cab there with his front leg from Southpaw. And now Ty's just abandoning the ship at that point. You see him. That's what he needs to do. Throw as hard as he can, get a hold of him, anything to stop him from, from kicking that leg more times and possibly working his offense here where, you know, he, he, he says he has an advantage and where he feels comfortable. Matthew Jelly in the corner of Ty Wilson saying, we need to make this into a dog fight. Let's go. Under a minute to go, second round. Yeah, and that he did. Um, right when he said that, you saw Ty throw, you know, four wild punches and grab the clinch here. So... Nice palm strikes there from Estrada. You know, that's going to disrupt that offense of, uh, of Ty Wilson there. Ty Wilson. And he gets the takedown. Scores a takedown, yeah. Now in and this is where he said Estrada. he's going to win. And could he have predicted this? He said, you know, Estrada was fatigued. Could he have got him down because Estrada's tired? He does not look tired to me. Um, I think he still maybe has this round in the bag. But you're right. This is what Ty Wilson wanted. But this is still, he's going out there and executing his plan. Now Wilson on the offense and horn sounds. We will go to the third round here between Ty Wilson and Kyle Estrada. I think this was the kick that kind of changed everything and made him go to Southpaw for good. That's he said, I'm not going to take another one of those um, kicks. And you've seen him pretty much fight Southpaw since that kick. Um, but his corner here told him the dog fight, and he finally got that takedown he's been looking for, injured calf or not. Um, so he is executing his plan as far as that goes. Said he wanted to take him into the grappling in the later rounds, and... Um, there at the end of the second, he was able to accomplish a little bit of that. Um, so, you know, very interesting to see how this third round's going to go with him ending with that takedown. He knows what he has to do is get him against the cage, and that that's his best bet to get it. It'll be interesting to see how the judges scored that second round, too. Wilson getting the takedown, and, and then was the aggressor on the ground, but Estrada landing all those calf kicks. Yeah. He goes right back to it. Oh, good combination from Wilson to start off yeah, the third Yeah, that round. cage is going to be Wilson's best bet because I also don't feel he's going to have the explosiveness, you know, off his calf to shoot a shot from the distance here. So look for him to charge in like he is here and get him back to the cage and get a takedown. I think would be Wilson's best bet right now, but he's out there swinging. Yeah, his corner. Matthew Jelly saying, let's go. 
the strata. Same pressure, and he took his big shots. Yeah, Let's you can go. see, and that definitely gave him a little confidence. You bet. Taking all those calf kicks, getting the takedown at the end of the second round, that is just the spark um, that Ty Wilson needed, Right. I think, is, is what it looks like as he comes out here in the third round ready to prove something. Ty Wilson, pro debut in 2017, started his career off. 2-0, and oh, went 8-2 and two as an amateur. Comes into this fight with a 6-3 and three record, and he is delivering some knees to the thigh of Estrada. Yeah, I really thought this was maybe going to be over in the second with those calf kicks. Just shows the toughness of Ty Wilson, or maybe the guy just doesn't feel anything at all, <laughs> like we talked about earlier, but for him to take all those and now here be on the offensive um, just shows how tough... Um, Ty Wilson is. And you see Estrada here just, he might feel like he's up 2-0 and doesn't really have to make a big, a big scramble happen or, or really have a huge sense of urgency to get out of this position, you know, as he doesn't feel threatened for a finish here. That would be a mistake, I think, and that second round was very close. Definitely gave Kyle Estrada the opening frame. But he can't get into cruise control here under three minutes to go. Yeah, and Ty Wilson here, though, needs to think the same. He needs to not assume that this round's going to give it to him. He needs to possibly break off and hit here. Um, you know, if he's sitting here in the clinch and can't get a takedown, you know, he might have to go for that knockout or some kind of desperation move um, while he's in this offensive position. You know, roll down for a leg lock. You know, break off and, and land your cleanest strike you can and clinch again. Um, you know, just uh, holding the grapple might not be enough here to win the fight. Just past the midway point of the third round. Ty Wilson. He's trying to get him down there with that kickstand, trying to jump for that yeah. other hook. And, you know, it's very hard to get offensive positions when a guy is only being defensive. You know, when you open up, when your offense opens up, it's because the other guy is opening up as well. But, you know, Estrada, thinking he's been up both rounds, just isn't really giving him anything to, uh, to work with here. And now he gets Estrada down, but he's back up quickly. Wilson has the opportunity to take the back nice. or deliver those knees. Yep, nice knee there. Wow, is Estrada gassed? I mean, he is doing nothing in this third round. Yeah, Mystic Ty. Oh, call him Mystic Ty predicted that. He said he was going to get tired, and that's where he's going to take advantage. And he's obviously winning this round and was right in that assessment, but is it too little too late after the first two rounds? Does he need a finish here? Maybe continue to dominate and score a 10-8 round. Estrada hasn't done much in this third round. The time winding down as we approach the one-minute mark. Yeah, and I don't know if Estrada's tired, like he said, or he is taking that approach of, hey, I'm not going to open up. I'm not going to give him anything here, and I'm right. just going to defend because I'm up two rounds. And now Marcelo La Silva restarts him with 41 seconds to go. Great job by the ref breaking that. Give these guys a chance to end this fight and for someone to take over. And they're firing away. Both looking to end this fight. Wilson now presses Estrada up against the octagon door. And now it's Estrada that takes the back of Wilson. Yep, he slipped that head and arm, reached back for it. As you see, um, you know, mainly in uh, high school wrestling, he went for it and he slipped that head and arm. Oh, good shot from Estrada. And Ty goes out, yeah. swinging, and it's a tough one to call, Ron. I agree. Both fighters giving it their all here as time ran out. Kyle Estrada comes over, but Ty Wilson raising his hands in what he believes is a victory. We'll look at some of the action here in the final round. There was a nice combination from Wilson. 
He let his hands fly in this third round. Oh, yeah, he was in there to win it, just like he said in the third round. Um, like I said, I really think he got that confidence from the second round winner here, threw some great hands, and the, the thing he did great um, with his hands was closing the distance. He, he stopped being in kicking range, so he could throw those, those good punches. So he's either in punching range or clinching range, and here you just see him ending, you know, going for it all. And um, going to be an interesting decision here one way or the other. Well, the judges have calculated their scorecards, so let's get the official decision from Mike Kendall. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. And all three judges score them out 29-28 for your winner. By unanimous decision, Kyle the Hoosier Estrada.